coffee can melt a lot of fat, and that's better than all expensive fat burners, but only if you follow this formula that I will explain. But first, the Italians, you know they eat a lot of carbs and are still fit and live longer compared to others. Now, let me explain why when Italians drink coffee, that coffee helps burn fat, but when you drink it, it does nothing. Imagine your body is like a giant, super busy city. In this city, you have special little houses called fat cells. These are like storage pantries where your body keeps extra energy packed away in big boxes, just like emergency lunch boxes for later. But what happens when the food trucks stop coming? Like when you haven't eaten for a while, maybe between dinner and breakfast? The city roads get empty. The city still needs energy to run. Your city is smart. It has these special pantries storing emergency lunch boxes. But here's the problem. The pantries have been locked tight. It's why you might feel like you're doing everything right, but that stubborn fat just refuses to budge. But the story doesn't end there. Because while those pantries are locked, your body does have a master key. The problem is, it can only be used when a very specific emergency signal is sent. What happens next is the city's first desperate cry for help a secret message that sets this entire fat-burning story in motion. When no food trucks are on the roads, the whole city starts to get quiet and slow down. That's the first hint of hunger, that clean, focused feeling where your mind gets sharp and you know your body is ready to work. High up in the city's main control tower, which we'll call City Hall, your brain notices this change. It sees that the main energy supply has been cut off, and it knows it needs to act fast. It can't let the city run out of power. This is when a very special thing happens. With no sugar available, some parts of the city start to burn a different emergency fuel. As they do, they release little puffs of smoke into the air. These aren't just any smoke signals. They're a special secret message called ketones. When these smoke signals reach City Hall, the brain understands the message perfectly. It says, emergency. We are out of our normal food. We need to use the backup supply now. This emergency fuel isn't just any fuel. It's premium fuel that gives your brain incredible clarity and focus. It's the kind of mental sharpness that cuts through brain fog like a knife. This is the trigger for everything that follows. City Hall immediately sends out an urgent dispatch. It calls on its most trusted and fastest messenger, a character named Adrenaline. Think of adrenaline as the fastest, most determined courier in the entire city. It is given one single critical mission, get to the emergency pantries and unlock them. This messenger doesn't waste a second. It doesn't get stuck in traffic. It has a special key that lets it use all the express lanes, racing through the city streets at top speed. Its only destination is the location of the fat cells, those pantries holding all the emergency lunch boxes. So the messenger has arrived at the pantry. Its mission seems simple, but little did we know, the real battle wasn't getting to the pantry. It was happening inside it. What you're about to see is the internal conflict, a tireless worker and a sleepy guard that keeps your fat locked away no matter how many messengers are sent. The emergency messenger, Adrenaline, has arrived. It stands before a huge reinforced door the entrance to one of the city's main energy pantries, a fat cell. This door doesn't have a normal handle or a keyhole. Instead, it has a very special secret lock that only the messenger knows how to operate. The messenger raises its hand and gives a specific rhythmic knock on the door. It's a secret code. This knock is the signal that the emergency has begun. The moment the knock connects with the door, a sound echoes on the inside. It's not a loud, blaring siren, but a persistent, high-pitched ringing. This is the pantry's internal alarm bell, a tiny but powerful signal called CAMP. Its only job is to ring when the secret knock is heard. The sound of this alarm is meant to wake up the most important resident of the pantry, the pantry worker. Deep inside the pantry, surrounded by towering stacks of emergency lunch boxes, the pantry worker is asleep in a small cot. His name is HSL, which stands for Hormone Sensitive Lipase, 
and he is a master at his job. He's a big, strong worker who has been trained for this exact moment. When the alarm bell starts ringing, his eyes snap open. He doesn't hit snooze. He knows that sound means the city is in trouble and needs his help. He jumps out of his cot, grabs his special set of tools, a crowbar, and a set of keys designed to open the lunch boxes, and gets ready to work. His mission is simple. Open as many of these emergency lunch boxes, which are full of fats, as possible, and send that energy out to the city. The alarm has to ring louder and longer to get his attention these days, but when he hears it clearly, he's ready to work hard. But there is one very important rule in this pantry. The city designed it with a safety feature. It doesn't want the pantry emptied by accident. So living in a small guard booth right next to the alarm bell is another character, a very, very sleepy guard. His only job is to make sure the alarm doesn't ring for too long. He loves quiet. He loves to nap. And any loud noise bothers him immensely. So here's what happens. The emergency messenger knocks. The alarm bell starts ringing. The pantry worker, HSL, is jolted awake, grabs his tools, and sprints towards the giant stacks of emergency lunchboxes. He gets to the first stack and immediately starts prying one open. The city is about to get the energy it so desperately needs. But wait. The moment the alarm started ringing, it also woke up the sleepy guard. Annoyed, he grumbles, gets up from his chair, and walks over to the alarm bell. He doesn't even look to see why it's ringing. He just slams his hand down on the off button, and the ringing stops. Silence. The sleepy guard shuffles back to his booth, satisfied, and immediately falls back asleep. Back at the stacks of lunch boxes, the pantry worker, HSL, suddenly stops. The alarm is off. For him, no alarm means the emergency is over. He shrugs, puts his tools down, and walks back to his cot for a nap. He only managed to get one lunchbox partially open before he was interrupted. The city is still starving. And just like that, the energy is gone. This is why you hit that wall in the morning, why you suddenly crave a sugary snack, or why your brain feels like it's wrapped in a thick, wet blanket. This is the metabolic slowdown that makes weight loss feel impossible. This process is incredibly inefficient. The messenger might knock again, the alarm will ring for a second, the worker will wake up, and the guard will shut it down. It's a constant cycle of starting and stopping. The pantry stays mostly locked your body can't access its own stored energy effectively. This is the big problem inside our city. The emergency messenger is doing his job perfectly. The pantry worker wants to help, but that sleepy guard keeps shutting everything down before any real work can get done. The fat stays locked away and your energy crashes. It feels like a hopeless situation, but what if we could tell that sleepy guard to just take a nice long nap? What if we could keep him asleep so the alarm could ring as long as it needed to? This is where your coffee becomes a superhero. And what it does next is the secret that changes everything. This is where your simple morning cup of coffee changes the entire story. Inside your coffee is a famous character, a superhero named Caffeine. When you drink your coffee on an empty stomach, this superhero enters the city and travels through the streets. But this superhero isn't like the emergency messenger. It doesn't have a secret knock. It can't unlock the pantry door. It has a completely different and very specific superpower. The superhero, Caffeine, arrives at the pantry. The emergency messenger, Adrenaline, is already there, knocking on the door over and over again. Inside, the alarm bell, CAMP, is trying to ring. The pantry worker, HSL, is trying to wake up. And the sleepy guard is constantly shutting the whole operation down. The superhero sees this chaos and knows exactly what to do. Its one and only mission is to find the sleepy guard. It quietly walks over to the guard's booth. 
The guard is just sitting down after turning the alarm off again. The superhero simply pats him on the shoulder and says, you look tired. Why don't you take a nice long nap? I'll watch things for you. It gives the guard a pillow and a warm blanket. The sleepy guard doesn't need to be told twice. He curls up in his chair and falls into a deep, deep sleep. He is completely out of the picture. He can no longer hear any alarms. Now everything changes. The emergency messenger outside gives the secret knock again. The alarm bell, C-A-M-P, inside starts to ring. But this time, no one comes to shut it off. The ringing gets louder and more persistent. It echoes throughout the entire pantry, a constant, undeniable signal that there's an emergency. The pantry worker, HSL, hears this continuous alarm. He sets up. The alarm doesn't stop. He stands up. The alarm keeps ringing. He realizes this is the real deal. This isn't a false alarm. He grabs his tools, and this time he works with a purpose he's never had before. He sprints to the stacks of lunch boxes and gets to work. He pries open the first box and precious energy flows out. Then he moves to the next and the next and the next. Because the alarm never stops, he never stops. He creates a nonstop assembly line, opening box after box of stored fat and sending a huge steady river of energy out of the pantry and into the city. The city finally gets the fuel it needs to power up. And this reveals the true power of caffeine. It isn't a hero because it starts the fire. It's a hero because it keeps the fire department from putting it out too early. And this reveals the true power of caffeine. So the coffee superhero only helps your city burn fat when the food trucks aren't around and the emergency signal is active. This is the one rule that makes this entire story work. Without it, the superhero never even enters the city. But by following it, you give the superhero the one job it was born to do. This means drinking your coffee on an empty stomach gives the superhero a job to do. One simple timing change unlocks your body's fat burning potential. You might be wondering about Italians. I'm not sure if they do it intentionally, but many Italians skip breakfast and only have a black coffee until noon. So when they finish their dinner around 7 p.m. and don't eat again until the next day, this initiates autophagy and the morning coffee helps trigger fat loss. 